Our objectives in this lesson are the following. Find the product of a square of a binomial and determine whether a trinomial is a perfect square trinomial or not. Take a look at these pairs of binomials. x plus 4, x plus 4, y minus 12, y minus 12, p minus 9, p minus 9, q plus 7, q plus 7. What do you notice? The binomials are repeated twice. Now let's have a quick review x squared is equal to x times x. d squared is equal to d times d. So, quantity x plus 4 squared is equal to x plus 4 times x plus 4. Quantity x minus 12 squared is equal to x minus 12 times x minus 12. Same thing goes to quantity x minus 9 squared. It is equal to x minus 9 times x minus 9. While quantity x plus 7 squared is equal to x plus 7 times x plus 7. Let us recall the product of a binomial from my last video lesson. Let us answer this using the SMILE method. Let us start. x times x is x squared. Positive 4 times positive 4 is positive 16. Positive 4 times positive x is positive 4x. And positive x times positive 4 is positive 4x. Let us combine like terms. Let us copy x squared and positive 16. 4x plus 4x is equal to 8x. Let us rearrange x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now, let us analyze. If quantity x plus 4 squared is equal to x plus 4 times x plus 4, and this is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16. Therefore, quantity x plus 4 squared is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 16. Now, where did x squared come from? From here, where did x squared come from? It is the is square of the first term. How about 8x? We have here x positive 4, and then 2. It is actually the product of the first term and the second term, and then multiplied by 2. So let us multiply first term and second term. x times 4 is 4x times 2 is 8x. How about 16? It is the is square of the second term. This lead us to a square of a binomial. So if we have quantity x plus y squared, all we have to do is to square the first term. The square of x is x squared. And then we simply have to copy the sign. If this is plus, then we have here plus. And then we multiply the first and the second term by 2 x times y is xy times 2 is 2xy and the third sign is always positive next we square the second term the second term is y y squared is equal to y squared let's have another one so first again we square the first term p is squared and then we copy the sign and then we multiply the first and the second term by 2 p times 4q is 4pq times 2 is 8pq and then the third term is always positive for the last term 4q is squared 4 is squared is 16 q is squared. So we have 16 q squared. One more. So again, let us is square the first term. 2 squared is 4. b squared is b squared. So we have 4 b squared. Next, we copy the sign. So we have here minus. Next, we multiply the first and the second term. 2b times 3 is 6b times 2 is 12 b and then the third sign is always positive 
Finally, we square the second term. 3 squared is equal to 9. Isn't that easy? Another one. Quantity 3m minus 2n is squared. Let us square the first term. 3 squared is 9. m is squared is m squared. So we have 9m squared. And then let's copy the sign. Let's multiply the first and the second term. 3 times 2 is 6. m times n is mn. So 6mn. And then multiply it by 2. 6mn times 2 is equal to 12mn. And then this is always positive. Finally, let us square the second term. 2 squared is 4. n squared is n squared. So we have 4 n squared. Let's dig deeper. Here are the examples that we had earlier. Number 1, how many terms are there in the product? So let us count the number of terms in the product. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So there are three terms in the product. And what do you call a polynomial with three terms? We call it trinomial. Next one, how do you call the product of a square of a binomial? Is there a specific term for the product of a square of a binomial? Since it came from a square of a binomial, and it has three terms, we call it perfect square trinomial. How do you decide on the sign of the middle term of the perfect square trinomial? This is the middle term and this is the sign. This is the middle term and this is the sign. Here is the middle term and its sign, middle term and its sign. The question is, how do we decide on the sign of the middle term? It depends on the sign of the second term of the binomial. Here is the binomial, first term, second term. So the sign of the middle term of the trinomial depends on the sign of the second term of the binomial. This is positive because this is positive. This one is negative because this is negative. Positive because this is positive. And negative because this one is negative. What can you say with the first term and the last term of the perfect square trinomial? Here is the first and here is the third. What can you say with those terms? Both of them are perfect square. Aside from being perfect squares, both the first and the third terms are always positive. So both are always positive and perfect square. Let's have an activity called am I perfect? To be a perfect square trinomial, take the square root of the first and the third terms, then multiply it by 2. The answer must be the same as the middle term. Let us tell whether the following is a PST, perfect square trinomial, or not. Number 1, a squared plus 20a plus 100. So it says here, take the square root of the first and the third terms. The square root of a squared is a. The square root of 100 is 10. And then we multiply it by 2. So a times 10 is 10a times 2 is 20a. And that is the middle term. If that is the middle term, then therefore this is a PST. Number two, the square root of W squared is W. The square root of 121 is 11. W times 11 is 11 W. Times 2 is 22 W. And this is the middle term. So this is a PST. Number three. The square root of g squared is g. The square root of 81 is 9. g times 9 is 9g times 2 is 18g. But this is only 9g. Therefore, this is not a PST. Number 4. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of f squared is f. So for here, we have 2f. The square root of 81 is 9. 2f 
times 9 is 18F. 18F times 2 is 36F. And that is the middle term. Therefore, this is a PST. Last one, the square root of 9 is 3. The square root of P squared is P. So for here, we have 3P. The square root of 64 is 8. The square root of Q squared is Q. So for here, we have 8Q. 3P times 8Q is 24PQ. 24PQ times 2 is 48PQ. And that is the middle term. So this one is a PST. Here are some quick tips. Now it is time to check your understanding. Pause this video for more time. Let us answer number one. Let us square x. So this is x squared. Copy the sign. And then first term is x, second term is 9, x times 9 is 9x times 2 is 18x. And then 9 is squared is 81. Third term always positive plus 81. Number 2, 2 is squared is 4, r is squared is r squared. So this is 4r squared. Copy the sign. And then 2r times 4 is 8r times 2 is 16r. 4 is squared is 16. Third term always positive plus 16. Number 3, 8 is squared is 64. Copy the sign. 8 times 5 is 40 times s is 40s times 2 is 80s. 5s is squared is 25s squared plus 25 s squared let us rearrange so this will be 25 s squared plus 80 s plus 64 number four three is squared is nine p is squared is p squared so this is nine p squared copy the sign three times four is 12 times pq 12 pq 12 pq times 2 24 pq 4 is squared is 16, Q is squared is Q squared, so plus 16 Q squared. Number 5 is a little bit of a challenge. So we have here a binomial, so let us square first this binomial. And then we copy the sign. And then twice of the product of the first term, which is the binomial, and the second term, which is C. And then square of C is C squared. Third term, always positive, so plus C squared. Let us perform this one first. So again, is square the first term, A squared. And then copy the sign. And then A times B is AB times 2 is 2AB. And then B is squared is B squared. Third term, always positive, plus B squared. This one is just for the square of the binomial A minus B. Now, for here, positive 2 times A is 2A times C is positive 2AC. Positive 2 times negative B is negative 2B times C is negative 2BC. Then copy C squared. Let us arrange this. Let's have A squared plus B squared plus C squared minus 2AB plus 2AC minus 2BC gets our next lesson will be sum and difference of two binomials